The Institute of Consecrated Life in Africa, INCLA, has organized the seventh edition of the International Theological Conference in Abuja. The conference, which drew participants from all over the country and beyond, had the theme Jubilee of Consecrated Life, Pilgrims of Hope on the Path of Peace. City of News was there. The seventh International Theological Conference began with a Holy Mass officiated by the Catholic Bishop of Makodi Diocese, Most Reverend Wilfred Chipa Anagwe. In his homily, Bishop Anagwe highlighted the importance of the theme for the conference, telling participants to live out the theme in their daily lives. This conference is to help us prepare our minds against the year, the pilgrimage of prayer, the jubilee of hope, where we are going to go as pilgrims. Ask yourselves, how have we fared in our own communities, in our religious families, about the mission of the congregation for which we have accepted to live? Any of us could have been another person. I'm a declaration by the grace of God. I could have been an Augustinian. I could have been a Holy Ghost priest. I could have been a diocesan priest. That you are a clarion and not a Holy Ghost of Vicentian, that means there's a difference. And within the years of formation, if you are Holy Rosary sister, you are a Notre Dame sister, you are DDL sister, you are De La Salle brother, that you are not Mary's brother shows that God wants you in that place. And so don't give reasons to see why you should not be able to do what the church was. And within the years of formation, brothers and sisters, I tell you, all of us go through the constitution of those are various families. So, after the age of 18 that you are admitted, or before final, before first profession, you must be 18. That means you have reached the age of reason. Though not these days, because maturity is delayed these days. I think you know that. With the consumption of Indomie, maturity is delayed. <laughs> because the don't reason now, the Gen Z generation. So, I tell you, you must have decided what you want to do joining this family. And so, leave to the charism which the founders and foundresses of these groups got for you. He also called on participants to be people of hope despite the difficulties of our lives. In this preparation for the pilgrimage of hope, let us be hopeful people. And for the church, or for we Christians, like St. Paul says, we hope against hope, believing that our trust is in God and not in princes and not in kings and not in superiors, but we trust in God whom we have believed to serve. So, I want to remind us that it's usual. Systems upgrade, I think you know that. Isn't it? You have to upgrade your system. So, certainly, we also, human beings, will have to upgrade. Along the line, I know, some of us have lost bearing. Along the line, as a religion, some of us have lost focus. Some of us have missed the track and we are derailed. And some of us, actually, our GPS are no longer calibrating. So, not to show you. This conference, preparing us for the year, pilgrimage of hope, is to reactivate us and get back to track. So that in all that we do, the glory of God will be made manifest in our lives. Speaking to journalists, the Bishop Chairman for Consecrated Life, Most Reverend Wilfred Chipa Anawe, and the Director of the Institute for Consecrated Life in Africa, Reverend Father Peter Okonkwo, both bore their minds on the importance of the conference and other national issues. I have lost about 14 to 15 parishes now. When I mean a parish, some parishes are about 20 outstations, some about 15, covers about almost about 20 to 25 kilometers. So the demography of the state and the diocese is shrinking. It's not just in Makudi Diocese, it's happening in Tukpo Diocese, in Katsuna Diocese, that every day we go to, we must hear this. And it is not for the people to defend themselves because, the, I mean, the protection of lives and properties is in the hands of the government. And that's one of the first articles they take on assumption of office to protect the life and the life of the people and the properties of the nation. The territorial integrity of the nation is in the hands of the various leaders and they should do the needful. They should do the needful because we have been plunged into untold hardship 
and nobody is sure. It's not just Mongolia, but the whole of this country. As you travel from any part of this country, let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, until you arrive, you are not safe. The, the document of the Vatican II, the call to renewal, has called the every institute to always go back to the basis, to go back to their founders and go back to the spirit of the founders. And uh, which means to, for every institute to always recapture their charism and uh, make their life and apostolate conform to the spirit of their father founder and the charism that brought them forth in the church. It is this charism that actually is the gift that the spirit is giving to the churches and the, the local church in particular. So there is no missing link except that you know it is always important to remain focused on the reason why you have come to exist in the church. And the reason why your every institute has come to exist in the church is that charism which is the driving force that the driving force in the apostolate the driving force in their life and the driving force in their mission. Various congregations, which are over 100, took time to exhibit their work and explain their charism. I am Sister Veronica Fatoyimbo. I'm a sister of Notre Dame de Namur, and that is my congregation. Um, we have been around for over 220 years. My name is Reverend Father Vincent Idangojo CSSP. I'm a spiritan, or what we call the Holy Ghost Father. I'm a member of the Congregation of the Holy Spirit that was founded by a young you know, French man whose name is Colour de Place. As a young uh, French Catholic who had a passion to advance the cause of the Kingdom of God, began to gather you know, youths. And in the course of that, you know, he was able to raise some group, but he had challenges, especially with his health, so he died very young. So roughly after about 145 years later, and that man came up and his charism was close to that of the founder, Claude de Place. His name is Francis Lieberman. And so uh, then he was asked to unite, I mean, join his congregation with that of the young man who started the congregation. And then he took a new name, Congregation of the Holy Spirit, under the protection of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I am Sister Vanessa Nzelentetati, a daughter of charity of St. Vincent de Paul, servant of the poor. We are officially recognized in the church as the company of the daughters of charity of St. Vincent de Paul, servants of the poor. We were founded by the great mystic of charity, St. Vincent de Paul and the patroness of all social workers, St. Louis de Maria, on the 29th of November, 1633, in Paris, France. The company is an international congregation of consecrated women in the Catholic Church. We belong to the Society of Apostolic Life. Our vows are non-religious. We pronounce four vows, which are chastity, poverty, obedience and service of the poor for which we exist. I am Reverend Father Emmanuel Chukudum Okwara. I am a Carmelite priest from the Order of Discussed Carmelites. Order of Discussed Carmelites is an ancient order in the Catholic Church founded in the 13th century. So we have our charism as to be contemplative prayer we have our current prayer, which is modeled after the prayer of Christ, biblical spirituality, which is expressed in silence and solitude. We have three elements of our charism. We have community life, service, and, uh, and prayer. And so from, we are also engaged uh, in retreat direction in Abuja, Tony Abba, CTV News.